and welcome back. It's Ignorant Norman here, and this is going to be part three. Yeah. And then I forgot what part it was going to be then. <laughs> right, so. Oh, we're going to go back into this menu. And I'm going to explain material to you. So. Gonna check the shop first. We sell, we buy. So this is a item shop where you can buy stuff if you want. And he sells materia. Uh, he sells the star as well, lightning. But the one I'm interested in, fire. I could get another restore materia. It's always useful to have two, but. We'll leave it for now. And the reason I'm buying the material is because I'm going to use that as part of the example of material as well. So, and the reason I haven't spent the money is because I want to buy spam. So, let's go to the menu. So, let me explain material to you. So, material works in this very specific way. It was explained briefly in the tutorial, but I want to do a little bit more in depth for you, just so you understand it properly. So everybody's got materials, so at the moment I'm going to remove everybody's materials. And the reason being is I want to start from scratch. Wrong one. And she go. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to buy something from the weapon shop. Because it will give me more material slots. what I was talking about earlier, the slots. Gonna buy something, you might be an elf fire. You can't walk out without buying them. anything, might be an elf fire. No, I'm gonna buy anyway, don't worry. So yeah, I can buy these iron bangles, and these will upgrade uh, what I've got. So I'm gonna buy three of them. I could buy the assault gun, but I, w I found one from the Robo Scorpion, if you remember, back in the last episode. Or the episode before, actually the first episode. Uh, if you didn't see that, watch it. And uh, there's some grenades. Uh, they're long range weapons. I'm not going to buy any grenades. I very rarely use them anyway. And I'll just speak to this guy. My friend on the second floor will teach you. So, he'll just teach me stuff in a minute. Right, so. Let's get back into this menu. I'm going to equip the bangles. Because, as you'll see, they'll give you. Two extra defense and two magic defense. And so I'll explain actually why I'm playing this game. So the reason I'm playing the PC remake of this game is because in the original, magic defense didn't matter. And you could increase it, but it didn't work. It looked like it was increased, but it never did anything. It was bugged. So, but in this one, it works. I like having that extra challenge, so. Iron Bangle. Yeah, you can equip material at that point as well if you want. But I'm not going to just yet. So he's going to get an Iron Bangle. And he's basically increasing the defense. And that's what we want. Iron Bangle. Right. So let's do the materia. So, Tifa is, at the moment, she's our person that's doing attack. Barrett's at the back and Cloud's in the thing. So, Tifa has less MP than thing because she's level 5. But, here's how this materia works, for example. So, I can give Tifa the restore materia, and it will give a restore, uh, which gives me the ability to cast Cure, as it says on the ability list there. Now, the problem is, is I'll lose strength, I'll gain magic power, I will lose 2% of my HP, uh, 
but I'll gain 2% MP. Now, Tifa's got the lowest HP at the moment, so putting this on her is going to lower her HP, like so. Not a lot, but it's enough. So at the moment, Barrett and Cloud are the highest MP. So we can bang something on them. Uh, I'm going to leave Fire on Cloud, which will do the same thing, and it will give me the ability to cast a Fire spell. I'm going to give Imbolt. Tifa Ice, further lowering her HP, but gaining more MP. Now, the ability points that I was talking about earlier, if you look in the top corner, there's it says AP 76, and to next level, 1924. So the ability points that you gain for battle increase the materia, or the level of the materia, until it levels up. When it levels up, it'll gain a second star, and at that point, you will gain the ability to cast Ice 2. When you get to three stars, you'll gain the ability to cast Ice 3. When you get four stars, you'll master it. You'll have that material that gives, gives you the ability to cast Ice 3, and you'll get a new Ice material starting at level 1 again. And that's basically it. I don't think there's much more. Um, there's material combinations, but I'll explain them as we come into them later. Um, oh, I didn't mean to do that. So, I think Cloud's Buster Sword is a linked. So this is linked. And we'll get a material called All Layer. And with All, you can link whatever magic. So, for instance, if I put that here, and all was there, I can cast fire on all targets. But I'll explain that more as we go in, and I think that's good for my materia, my materia explanation there, I think. Uh, if there's any more I think you need to know, I'll explain it in more detail later on. So we're gonna go check out back in here. Uh, money's an issue, as usual. Might be enough for you. What could I buy something? Whatever. And um, we're gonna sell those bronze bangles that we had. Give us 150. I'm not gonna sell any potions. I'm definitely not selling the ether. Some people got ether or ether. I th I've always pronounced it ether. I could sell materia if I wanted. Uh, if you want equipped. But no, um, one thing to know, if you want to make a lot of money in the game, mastered materials sell for a lot of money. But that's all if you're willing to grind to bring up the material that it spawned for you, or unless you, for instance, have two of the same material that you've been leveling up at the same time and you don't need the extra one. Yeah, that can work for you too. You dried up all you tad, you can rest up on the first floor of my house. Just one condition, you're gonna give me some cash. Ten gil? Oh man, oh man. Go ahead and help, help yourself to the room. The reason I'm fed in the ten gil is I can't remember if there's an item up there that I can get. So I thought I would. So you see the blue thing there, another materia, and that's the all one. You got one right off. That was materia. Next, take this treasure chest. And they're just giving me free items now. See the ether? How to use the buttons. So it explains the buttons. How to restart. What the menu commanded. So the cursor, the assistant command that I told you about. Um, I've already told you about that anyway, so... Yeah, basically ladders, things you can interact with. But I explained that earlier. I 
can save the game here if I want. Go talk to this is the fable save point. You can get to the save. It's a secret. But the world map you can save anywhere where you like. But I'll explain that when we get there. It should be all you need to know about the save point. And the treasure chest. Beginners should look it out for me. Whatever. Now this is the bit I really came to see. So these brothers will teach you good stuff. If you're a newbie. This is basically explaining limits. So he's whacking the girl. Now she's going to use the limit technique. Oh! That's actually a good limit. You teach that to Tifa. <laughs> Please. I'll wrap with you for a while. So, the ATB gauge is the gauge that you get for basically in this game, it's the gauge you get for your assisted time battles. So, how fast the battle will go. Um, change of defense, change is change your position, defend is defend. I very rarely defend unless I'm doing something like the Robo Scorpion, which I messed up on anyway. Took me about elements, and, but I know all this stuff, so I'll explain it all to you as we go on. I just assume they gave me a prize. Yeah, Magic Berry reduces half damage, Reflect bounces attacks off you. Man, she's barring that kid. I think that's kind of cruelty to the kid. I think. I'm not sure. Should be. No, I don't want to talk to you. Uh, if you talk to him, it just puts you back in here. Alright. Don't need to know. Right, let's go. Shall I save? Yeah, I bought some stuff and stuff. That's uh, better save. Let's go. Kids' room. Oh, you can sleep. I don't think I needed to do that. I thought there was an item up here. Or maybe I was hoping there was an item up here. No, damn it. All right, all pointless. It's not like I were injured or anything. Oh, what's up with that bino? You didn't do all. Yeah, you didn't do. You didn't do jack. Can't go that way. So yeah, we need to go back to the train station, basically. Uh, oh, the kid stopped humping the girl. That's useful. Still there. So the train station. Let's go. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. Yo, ain't no private castle split up. Hulums again. God, I just have all the luck. You say something? I, I said, you say something? Now look at you. You've got empty all of a sudden. What's going on? Damn. It's, it's empty because of guys like you. 
Yipes. You, you see the news, right? Avalanche says there'll be more bombings. Only devoted employers let me would go to Midgar on a day like today. You'll work for Shinra? I won't give it to violence. I won't give it. Baron. Shit. You're a lucky damn guy. So what are you going to do now? Damn. The hell you so count. You busted up my rib. So they've just finished connecting the cars. We're finally leaving. So what's our next target? Huh, listen to Mr. Sarah's about his work. Alright, I'll tell you. Jesse's probably already told you, but there's a security checkpoint at the top plate. It's an ID scan system checking all the trains. Which Shinra are very proud of. We can't use our fake IDs anymore. Good morning and welcome to Mega Lion's arrival. Time at Sector 4 is... Station is at 11.45. That means we've only got three more minutes till the ID checkpoint. Alright, three minutes, we're jumping up this train. Got it. Cloud, come over here and let's look at the railway map monitor. Yeah, Tifa, I'll come look. Hmm, looks like you've seen this already. It's alright, come a little closer. Oh yeah? I'm gonna do a little dance. Make a little love. You're down tonight. That's our the ID checkpoint was supposed to be further down. Type A security alert. Unidentified passengers confirmed. A search of all cars will be conducted. Repeat, type A security alert. Unidentified passengers confirmed. A search of all cars will be conducted. What's happening? What's going on? We're in trouble. I'll explain later. Hurry, get to the next car. Damn, someone blew it. An A5 passenger is located in car one, preparing for lockdown. Let's go, keep it up. Lockdown, grade into level two. Hurry, they're locking the door, sir. So basically, you have to run for this. An A5 passenger located in car two, preparing for lockdown. Just run. Change. Change it to plan two. So basically, you have to run. Cat two locked down. Upgrading to warning level three. All right, we're clear. Not yet. They're standing another check. If we're caught, we're done for. But don't worry. If we move the train car by car, we should get past it. I don't pay passages, moving... Oh, yeah. totally messed out. Oh, right, so he steals your money, and then you have to... Basically... Oi! Give me my money. Oh, dear. Well, this, so this is where... We're almost there. We're gonna jump up here, follow me. All right. Don't worry, don't worry. Oh, well. We jumped off anyway. You're actually supposed to get into the next car and do a whole little scene, but... <laughs> hey, we ended up with the same result. <coughs> I was trying to get my money back. That was close. I thought we were going to get caught. They probably don't know we sneaked in yet. We'll be at the reactor in no time. Biggs, where Jesse did good. Now it's our turn. The reactor's just down this tunnel. Right. I want to know how much money was lost. Not that much. I think it's about 200. I'm going to go backwards. Because I can't remember if there's any items. But there is monsters here. And it will help me level up.
Yep. Here we go. I think these creatures do a bit more damage. Oh, and they use silk, so they... They basically slow down your time bar. So it takes you longer before you can attack. Which is really annoying. Especially as they just do it to every member. And then they start attacking. Tifa's gonna kick some... Kick one in the face. Oh, Barrett was dodging then, but not anymore. That one's dead, thanks to Barrett and Tifa. And the reason they didn't put a lot of... A uh, lot of magic on Cloud is... I want to keep him strong. And like I said, Materia lowers HP stats. And attack, so... But we're going to XP. And we need Tifa to level up, really. Anyway. She's a puny level 5. All oh, right. Oh, this is actually... Uh, early on, this is a very good grind spot. But I'm... I'll fight these guys, but I'm not going to keep fighting. Yo, the avalanche. These guys are a little bit cut above the other guys that we... These are proper Shinra security, so they can do some damage. See, they do 15 with a hit. Which I'm not too bothered about because he's bringing up limit breaks. These guys yeah, go down fairly fast, but... Yeah, they can do a lot more damage than the average Shinra Grunt. And it's... The class is a very good place to grind early on. If that's what you like doing. I kind of like grinding, but I want to move the story along for you guys. Um, mainly because otherwise it'll get boring. I'll have one more fight. I'll stay here for one more fight. And then I'm going to get off. Just because I like the XP. And it's the same guys, and you can just fight them over and over again, which is why it's a grind spot because you don't have to run around, you don't have to do anything. And they give you some decent XP early on. We're gonna get rid of these, and then we're gonna go back to where we need to go. I couldn't remember if there was an item back here. Um, it has been a while since I played it. So, uh, there will be spots where I'm thinking, I'm sure there's a sneaky item back there. Obviously not. Bean gun. You just bring up Cloud's limit break, that's fine. He's closer and closer to unlocking his second one. So, I think I must have spoken in the last episode where I said that you have to you have to use it so many times to unlock your second limit break. No, what I meant is you have to use it so many times to unlock your second limit break in that break level. So it'll unlock the second limit break of level one. That makes sense. Truders, Avalanche is attacking. Uh, run. We're not going to carry on with that fast. Let's just get to where we're going and do what we need to do. Which is get attacked. Oh, these are the machine gun things. Oh, I picked up that armor here and I didn't use it. Ah, right. Basically, all, all bolt on these would have just killed them all. Uh, I'm kind of annoyed now. Oh, they're wailing on Tifa. Wailing on Tifa. Whoa, what was wrong with Tifa, man? Oh, alas. She's going to cure herself first before she uses a limit. We 
I'm glad she did cure herself. She's taking more damage. And yeah, so basically, Tifa's Limit Break. Uh, see, that's what I mean by achievement. Tifa's Limit Break is basically a, a slot reel. And if you get it in the air, you'll do more damage. It's that simple. So, I'm going to rearrange my materia now because I've got that all materia and I forgot to equip it. Silly of me. So, materia. Barret has got the lightning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give him lightning all. And it, if we run into any more of these on the way, we can just bolt them all to death. It'll make the battle really quick and easy and we don't have to deal with them. So I'm sure there's a few corridors, so we're going to get attacked. Knew it. Oh, look who it is. And look who's got up first. This is it. I don't even really stack up attacks now, do I? Yeah. And that's the way to make a battle quick. And get a nice bit of XP on the way. Oh, fast. Obviously, I could run into the other monsters and they won't go down with Bolt that quickly. Oh my god. Do we? Because I had to jump off early, whether my further behind than I was, then I kind of jumped off later. I'm, I'm not sure, I can't remember. Those light beams are Shinra Skiri sensors. You can't go any further. But, there's a hatch here. That's one damn tiny hole. You telling me to squeeze into that to get under the plate? No way. Yo, Cloud, what are we gonna do? Well, we're gonna go down the garbage chute. Yeah, we're gonna go down the garbage chute. Damn, they're giving me some chills. Do you get the reference? What a nice smell you discovered, princess. <laughs> oh, and there's battles in here. I didn't realize there's battles actually in here. Alright, so. I'm Oh, that rolling claw. The deadly. But, eh. Uh, they've given Cloud a limit break, which is fine. So that's dead. That's dead. That's definitely dead. You're dead. And you're definitely dead. Cool. Come on, we need to get to this reactor. Ether. Down here. It's hard to wedge, but ah, there's no point. Crawl through here. There's Jesse. I'm sorry. The ID scan problem on the train was all my fault. I modified your ID card. And that's what I did. It. I did my best, but I failed. Ah, uh, don't worry about it, love. You'll be fine. I'm not sure if it's this way. Yeah, it is. And there we are. Oh. We've got a battle. And... Oh, look! It's something that suffers to electric. Yay! Oh, 
Oh, they've got a bit of health. Whoa, no, no. What the hell? Oh, I hate owl bubbles. No. Ah, you missed. Well, how much health do they have? Well, that one's gone. Tifa, finish that off. I forgot how much health they had. It's quite a bit, it seems. Get some XP. Here's uh, Biggs. We're going to pull out now. We'll meet up at the hideout. Cloud, we can't need to blow the reactor. I'm kind of made to collect this tent and save the game. Thank you for joining me. I've been Ignorant Norvana. Uh, this has been Final Fantasy Let's Play Part 3. Please share, like and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.